Hi, my name is Rex Venator. I am a bounty hunter with Bellspeak.com. Uh, what I have here before me today is the 2013 Softail Slim, and there was something very interesting that I wanted to get done on this bike that I couldn't do because the lines are classic. Harley Davidson and its designers did a remarkable job getting this bike to look the way that it did, and it would have been a travesty for me to mess up the lines of the bike. As a bail bondsman, one of the things that I wanted to do was to be able to carry my bail bond bag on my soft tail slim. But one of the problems I had was how do I put saddle bags on the soft tail slim without completely disrupting the classic lines of this most beautiful, beautiful machine. Now any soft tail slim owner knows if you've researched saddle bags for the soft tail slim, one of the things that they require you to do is you have to get what's called a relocation kit for the rear, rear tail lights and also the license plate. Why in the world would you want to do that? The reason why it's called the slim is because it starts off slim and gets wide. I cannot emphasize enough what a wonderful job Harley did in designing this bike and I was not about to mess with the rear lights or the license plate. It made absolutely no sense. So I had to think of a way to get saddlebags on here without disrupting the lines of the bike. Now I took the stock soft tail slim original seat off and had a solo seat put on. I just, I think it's a great look. And then what I did was I had some modified exhaust put on. These are Vance and Hines Big Shots Lungs. And you'll notice that the Vance and Hines compared to the stock exhaust and the slim actually gave me more clearance from the strut down. And this was important moving forward and how I was gonna get some saddlebags on this bike without disrupting and relocating and all that nonsense I talked about before. My solution was inspired by a film and what I came up with was I need to put something over the seat mount it somewhere on here in such a way that when I'm carrying millions of dollars in bonds I don't have to leave it on the bike nor do I have to carry big bulky um, hard case saddlebags or other saddlebags that required and I keep bringing this up because it is so important changing all this I didn't want to do that so what I did was I contacted the Leatherworks out of Stockton, California with an idea. I approached uh, the owner, I approached the people that worked there, and I said, look, this is what I want, can you do it? And the people at Leatherworks came up with this solution for me with my design. Here it is. These are leather work bags, and I'll show you how they mount on the bike here in just one second. And here was my answer to my dilemma about not wanting to change the lines of the soft tail slim and get good quality saddlebags on the soft tail slim. You'll notice that the rear brake lights have not been moved. Uh, on the other side, license plate's still where it was, and I've got these beautiful, beautiful handmade leather bags by the Leatherworks. And let me show you something that's really interesting in terms of how these bags are secured. As I stand up, you'll notice I was sitting on the yoke. Sitting on the yoke secures the bag. Now, I've taken the bike up the freeway speeds and the bags are absolutely stable with just a few tie downs, absolutely no problems. I'm not concerned with anything popping off, going into the wheels, and I am very, very happy with this setup. Okay, watch this. Watch how quick these bags come off. All I do is just untie here, untie there, little untie there, there. Simply unlace the leather straps, which keeps the yoke forward, and voila, the bags are off. Now here's the really cool part. When I'm ready to carry these bags because of the way the yoke is shaped, I just string it over my shoulder. Notice that the bags are dead center of my chest, and as I turn around, they're dead center of my back. It is very, very comfortable to carry these bags in this fashion. Now there's one thing, because I come from a cycling background, that's bicycling, uh, I'm known to travel up and down big mountains, that cyclists are really gonna appreciate. If you take a look at the yoke, look here, there's a groove there. This is to alleviate any pressure on what's called the peroneal nerves. Cyclists, you know what I'm talking about. How cool is that? There's one last thing in terms of the leather works out of Stockton that I wanted to bring to your attention, and that is this tool bag. Take a look at this. How cool is that? Got bell speak right on the front, basket weave on the top. It's bigger than the one that I had on here before and it looks like it had fit my shaving kit rather well. Last thing, no video on any Harley is complete without at least starting the bike up so you all can see what it sounds like. Are you ready? 